Having defeated Circe's forces and burned down a good portion of King's Landing, Daenerys quietly examines the Iron Throne as it now reigns with ash, the Great Hall now broken open by the dragon fire she had recently unleashed upon the city. As Jon approaches her, Daenerys recounts how her brother used to tell her how the throne was built from a thousand swords built from Aegon's fallen enemies. Having been unable to count all that well at the time, Daenerys imagined a mountain of swords too tall to climb past. With so many enemies stacked, Daenerys could only imagine being able to see the soles of Aegon's enemies' feet. After a short emotional exchange, Jon stabs Daenerys, causing her to die several moments later. As he mourns over his decision, Drogon enters the throne room, making loud screeching sounds, seemingly aware that something is amiss. Upon realizing that Daenerys is no more, he becomes even more upset, starting to blow flames around the room. Eventually, his main target becomes clear. The Iron Throne long established by Aegon I after several seconds, the throne is reduced to a melted slag and Drogon picks up Daenerys's body, flying off into the sky, now known to be the last dragon descended from the Targaryen dynasty still alive. Jon, still agonizing over the aftermath of his decision, is thus left as the last known living heir of House Targaryen.